I was very excited about my first year of teaching practice. I could not wait to be part of the staff and to meet my learners because I wanted to share the new knowledge and skills I, I had acquired during my studies. I felt privileged to be assigned in that school since I knew it was a good one. Since 1994, South African schools have gone through transformation and now offer equal education, or so I thought. I was hoping my first tutor teacher would guide, mentor, support and stimulate my thinking, but he did none of those. From the start, he was hostile towards me and I felt that he regarded me as one of the cleaners who incidentally were all black people. One day he even asked me to take off the dirty curtains. I was there as a student teacher and not a cleaner at his disposal. However, I did as he requested. To make matters worse, the other learner defended me and spoke against the tutor teacher. It was then that I realized the seriousness of this situation, that I was being unfairly treated I ended up crying. There was another incident when I taught about cultures. He humiliated me in front of the learners and I lost my dignity. He asked if I knew what I was talking about or if I was making it up. Strange enough, I was teaching about my own culture, something I knew more about than him. It was then that I realized that he just did not believe in me. Since this incident, I had to prove myself that I'm not what he thought I was. He forced me to reflect upon many questions. Why should race be a factor? Why should skin color determine my intelligence? Why am I being treated as a cleaner? Why should perceptions of others change how I perceive myself? I believe I'm more than a cleaner. I was supposed to be treated as one of the student teachers who was determined to learn, but I found myself put down to an extent that I did not enjoy that teaching practice. From these incidents, I have learned to be persistent. I never wanted to give up and be seen as a coward. I've remained in former Moses schools throughout my teaching practice. My intentions were twofold. One, to change the teacher's perceptions about black people that we are capable irrespective of color. Secondly, since schools are now diverse, I wanted to change learners' perception that every child can become anything they want to be because it is possible to be successful. It's not about color. I have learned to treat all my learners as equal and not to give up when the going gets tough, but to remain strong.